Hello and welcome to another video. This video is another limit problem, but now limit is at negative infinity. And something I'd like to introduce in this video, which I haven't done in other videos, um, is to try to change this negative infinity to some positive value so that it is easier for you to, um, to use. Infinity is usually easy to use, but when you have negative infinity, it tends to bring confusion in some cases. So let's try this for the first time in my videos to switch this negative infinity to a positive value. So what I'm going to do is instead of x being going to negative infinity, we're going to do this. We're going to say, let, um, let's say, let, um, let x be equal to negative k, okay? And say, as x goes to negative infinity, you see that? What's going to happen? You notice that k, because if x is negative k, as x goes to negative infinity, um, we're going to have k is going to go to infinity. Do you see that? Because k can be negative x. As x goes to negative infinity, it's going to be negative negative infinity, and this is what you have. So as this becomes negative, this becomes positive, because this is the negative of that one. Or you can look at it this way, let k be negative x, so that as x goes to negative infinity, it's going to be negative negative infinity, and this k is going to become infinity. You see that? So that's the reasoning behind this. And then we can rewrite this problem and replace x. Anywhere we see x, we're going to put negative k. Anywhere you see negative x, you're going to put k. So, uh, which implies k equals negative x. It's good to build this um, because it helps us simplify the problem um, better. So what I'm going to do now is rewrite the problem and say, therefore, we have the limit. Instead of saying as x goes to negative infinity, I'm going to say as k goes to infinity, then we're going to have e to the negative k. Anywhere we see um, x, we write negative k plus, and then this is going to be e to the k. Oh, it's looking nice. Looks like nothing changed on top. And then you're going to have 2 minus e to the negative k. Okay, let's simplify this. So this is going to be equal to the limit as k goes to infinity of, I'm going to write this as 1 over e to the k plus e to the k divided by 2 minus 1 over e to the k. Okay, now when you have a complex fraction, a fraction within a fraction, all you want to do is multiply the top and bottom by the denominators that you see. You notice that the denominator here is e to the k, it's also e to the k. So I'm just going to multiply the top and bottom by e to the k. So let's do this. I'm going to multiply this by e to the k, multiply this also by e to the k. So I haven't changed anything and this is going to end up being equal to the limit as k goes to infinity of, if this multiplies this, you're going to get 1. If this multiplies this, you're going to get, what would you get? You're going to get e to the 2k plus e to the 2k. And if you go here, you have 2 times e to the k, so you have 2e to the k. And if you go here, you're going to have minus 1. So now we have a cleaner expression to work with. So with this, you want to take the limit. What do you do? You look at the denominator and say, what's in the denominator? Such that if I keep increasing the value of k, it's going to be the biggest value in the, in the denominator. Definitely it's 2e to the k because this stays as a constant. Now what you're going to do is you're going to divide everything you see in this expression by this term because it's the biggest term in the denominator. So here we go. This is going to be the limit as k goes to infinity of here, what do we have? We've got 1 over 2e to the k, okay, plus e to the 2k over 2e to the k divided by 1 minus 
1 over 2e to the k. Okay, what do we get? Let's write in this direction. So at this point, I'm going to say, um, what does it look like? Well, I can see that definitely this is going to go to 0, but we're not there yet. What I'm looking at is, what's going to happen here? Well, e to the k, e to the 2k, divided by this, well, this is going to be equal to, let's write, um, the limit as k goes to infinity of, here I'm going to have 1 over 2e to the k, but on this side I'm going to have e to the, so that's plus, e to the k over 2. Because e to the k will take out one of these, and you have just e to the k divided by 2. And in the denominator, I'm going to have 1 minus 1 over 2e to the k. Well, it doesn't look promising. I was thinking that this number is going to give us something nice. But the way I'm looking at it, this is going to be equal to... Now, let's check out the limit. As k gets larger and larger, this expression becomes smaller and smaller. So this is going to become 0. So we got 0 here. This is going to get larger and larger. That's just infinity. Come on. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I'm writing these, but I should just say it goes to infinity. So, okay, this goes to infinity. Okay, let's use this expression. This is zero, and this goes to infinity. Okay, I'll write it that way. And this is one, stays the same, minus, what does this become? Well, this goes to zero. Okay, this goes to zero. Ah. Uh, so, do you see what we've got? We've got 0 added to infinity divided by 1. The answer to this is positive infinity, and there's nothing I can do about it. I wish it was going to be a finite number, but it's not. So, this expression, the limit, is positive infinity. I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.